What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Day number 1534 coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into this triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. <clears throat> so this person... Uh, said, please keep my name private. So we will do that. Um, they said, hey, Pete, I came across this where restaurants can send discount promos to customers after a bad experience. Um, and it says this thing here, what is the customer feedback tab? Uh, it says, we're so sorry for the lack of attention to details and not following your special instructions. We are generally spot on, but we messed up on your order. So what they're saying is that restaurants can send discounts to unhappy DoorDash customers. Also, this is the real part I wanted to mention here, proof that restaurants can ban you. I've talked about this in the past, but this is more information. So they said, uh, also came across this Dasher feedback section under the feedback option, they are missing one for wore a mask for positive and did not wear a mask under Dasher professionalism. This is how you can be banned from delivering from a certain restaurant or even deactivated for unprofessional conduct. This is why you now need body cams for restaurant pickups as well as customer drop-offs. The scary thing is how do you find out if you have been banned from a restaurant for delivery? Will you ever be notified if you've been if you have been banned from a particular restaurant for delivery? Uh, how would you find out? Could be worth a video. Regular support does not have access to this. Merchant support has access to this though. So this was that part I did not know about. Okay, <clears throat> like on Grubhub, for instance, like I've mentioned in the past, you can ban yourself from a particular restaurant if you no longer want any orders coming from there. Okay. I did know on Grubhub um, that when the orders come in on the merchant's end, because I got friendly with a bunch of restaurants over the years, so they show me their tablet. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, guys, I primarily do a lot of Grubhub orders, not so much DoorDash. So with that being said, I've seen the Grubhub tablet. It shows the driver's face and you, they can put like a rating system on there and, you know, whether or not they, you know, they like the, the driver or not. But in this particular situation, it seems that DoorDash has this option for the merchants so that like, let's say there's a driver they really don't like that keeps coming in. They can probably just put something in on the tablet or they have to call the merch, uh, uh, call merchant support and say, I do not want John Smith or, you know, whatever the guy or girl's name or whatever. I do not want this person coming to my establishment anymore to pick up orders for a variety of reasons. Uh, they don't wear a mask or they're rude or they're always late or, you know, whatever, you know. So this is something to keep in mind. What I always tell people, drivers, dashers, everyone across the board is always be respectful and follow the rules when you are going into these restaurants or stores to pick up items, okay? You never want to get on the bad side of any of these people, management, employees, whatever, even if they're rude to you. Like I've said a million times, this is not, you know, like a, 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 a fight in the school and you're in school or a fight on the street or, <clears throat> you know, a fight at a bar where if someone says something nasty to you, you have to come back and say something else. It could cost you your job. Job, okay, or your partnership with DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats, or it could land you in trouble. You know what I mean? You could get arrested or whatever. You know, it's not worth it. If someone says something nasty to you, you just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. You know, you act professional as a professional because that's what we're supposed to be. I know a lot of people discount our job as just, you know, being like a pizza delivery guy, you know, from the 90s or something, but that's not the case. Okay, you are an independent contractor partnered through DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats, or any of these companies, and you should act as a professional. 
That's what it comes down to. So you can avoid being banned from restaurants for whatever the reason is, you know? And if they have a sign on the door that says mask required, wear a mask just while you go in. I know no one wants to wear masks. Trust me. I, I think I feel like that is something that has gotten really politicized and everything. Nobody wants to wear a mask. Okay. But the fact is, if that's their rules, we have to follow their rules, period. That's all That's all it is. So my question to all of you out there is, have you ever been banned from a restaurant and were you notified of it? In my opinion, I don't think they're going to notify you. I think it's just going to happen. You're just not going to get orders from that restaurant anymore or merchant. So let me know, know your thoughts down below. And of course, if you guys ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That information's down below in the description. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We have the very generous Ron Grubb, our tier five driver. We have John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United, 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, uh, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Alan Blackwell, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate all of you. So with that being said, if you guys want to sign up, links in the description of the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. Link is in the description of the pin top comment, of course. Uh, definitely go check that out. And when you click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app, it'll tell you how to download and install install it to whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. Then from there, what you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's down below. Make sure to download it today. And with that being said, I hope every one of you guys out there has checked out paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Everything's on sale every day. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Links in the description of the pin top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for you all. Let me know by leaving a comment right now down below that says end 718-END. 718 just lets me know you made it to the end don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and of course subscribe to my other channel team ptd you can either youtube search it uh, or look in the description or the pin top comment go over there trying to get the channel to a thousand subs if it's not already so hit that subscribe button turn on the bell there and of course if you wouldn't mind Hit the like over here on this video and on those videos and leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody, later.